Lord's Cricket Ground, commonly known as Lord's, is a cricket venue in St. John's Wood, London. Named after its founder, Thomas Lord, it is owned by Marlebone Cricket Club, MCC, and is the home of Middlesex County Cricket Club, the England and Wales Cricket Board, ECB, the European Cricket Council, ECC, and, until August 2005, the International Cricket Council, ICC. Lords is widely referred to as the home of cricket and is home to the world's oldest sporting museum. Lords today is not on its original site. It is the third of three grounds that Lord established between 1787 and 1814. His first ground, now referred to as Lords Old Ground, was where Dorset Square now stands. His second ground, Lord's Middle Ground, was used from 1811 to 1813 before being abandoned to make way for the construction through its outfield of the Regent's Canal. The present Lord's Ground is about 250 yards 230 meters northwest of the site of the Middle Ground. The ground can hold 30,000 spectators. Proposals are being developed to increase capacity and amenity. As of December 2013, it was proposed to redevelop the ground at a cost of around £200 million over a 14-year period. The current ground celebrated its 200th anniversary in 2014. To mark the occasion, on 5 July an MCC 11 captain by Sachin Tendulkar played a rest of the world 11 led by Shane Warne in a 50-overs match. Acting on behalf of the White Conduit Club and backed against any losses by George Finch, 9th Earl of Winchelsea and Colonel Charles Lennox, Thomas Lord opened his first ground in May 1787 on the site where Dorset Square now stands. The White Conduit moved there from Islington soon afterwards and reconstituted themselves as Marlebone Cricket Club, MCC. In 1811, feeling obliged to relocate because of a rise in rent, Lord removed his turf and relayed it at his second ground. This was short-lived because it lay on the route decided by Parliament for the Regent's Canal. The middle ground was on the estate of the Eyre family, who offered Lord another plot nearby, and he again relocated his turf. The new ground, on the present site, was opened in the 1814 season. The earliest known match was MCC v Hertfordshire on the 22nd of June 1814. This is not rated a first-class match. MCC won by an innings and 27 runs. The next match known to have been played at Lords, from 13 to the 15th of July 1814, was the earliest first-class one between MCC and the neighbouring St John's Wood Club which had several guest players for the occasion, including five leading professionals. MCC won by four wickets. The annual Eton v Harrow match was first played on the old ground in 1805. There is no record of the fixture being played again until 29 July 1818, when it was held at the present Lord's ground for the first time. Harrow won by 13 runs. From 1822, the fixture has been almost an annual event at Lords. As of January 2015, the stands at Lords are clockwise from the Pavilion, Pavilion Warner Stand, Grand Stand, Compton Stand, currently under construction, Edrich Stand, currently under construction, Mound Stand, Tavern Stand, Allen Stand, formerly the Q Stand. Many of the stands were rebuilt in the late 20th century. In 1987 the new mound stand, designed by Michael Hopkins and Partners, was opened, followed by the Grand Stand by Nicholas Grimshaw, in 1996. The media centre, opposite the pavilion between the Compton and Edrich stands, was added in 1998-99. Designed by Future Systems it won the Royal Institute of British Architects Sterling Prize for 1999. The ground can currently hold up to 28,000 spectators. The two ends of the pitch are the pavilion end southwest where the main members' pavilion is located, and the nursery end northeast dominated by the media center. Lords is the home of the MCC Museum, which is the oldest sports museum in the world, and contains the world's most celebrated collection of cricket memorabilia, including the Ashes Urn. MCC has been collecting memorabilia since 1864. 
The items on display include cricket kit used by Victor Trumper, Jack Hobbs, Don Bradman, Shane Warne, and others. Many items related to the career of W. G. Grace, and curiosities such as the stuffed sparrow that was bowled out by Jahangir Khan of Cambridge University in delivering a ball to T. N. Pierce batting for MCC on 3 July 1936. It also contains the battered copy of Wisdom that helped to sustain E. W. Swanton through his captivity in a Japanese prisoner of war camp during World War II. The museum continues to collect historic artifacts and also commissions new paintings and photography. A recently opened exhibition, which celebrates the life and career of Brian Lara, is especially suitable for children. It contains the Brian Johnston Memorial Theatre, a cinema which screens historical cricket footage for visitors.